Hey everybody, it's Dr. Qua. The doctor is in. We're back with Wasteland 3. And we just got introduced to the bazaar, did some a little bit of shopping, saw some of the wares. And we're about to talk to the guy that's going to take that care of the refugees away, the guy who runs the caravan. Get that squared away, um, even though the Reverend ain't going to like it. It's kind of like you got to pick and choose. I'm going to have to check before I talk because I don't want to miss the, um, I need an auto mechanic at the base. And then we got to visit, um, flab the inhaler and then, you know, if time permits, we'll go check out the warrants. I'm sure it will, but that dude wants ramen noodles. Alright, so we check out the mission log. We've got you know, unwelcome guests is find someone in the bazaar who can help take the refugees who can help the refugees reach Colorado Springs. Nightmare in the bazaar. My body requires this. Oh the noodles. The zealot. Um, okay, so maybe, I don't know, maybe that's just. So we confronted the smugglers. Oh, stop the traffickers. Okay, gotcha. Right, let's talk to this dude. As you approach, this man's eyes flit over every member of your team as if assessing whether or not you're a direct threat. He relaxes for a moment and touches the brim of his hat with a slight nod. Howdy, ma'am. He nods at Lucia. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. He turns to you, nodding again. Oh, we got an achievement here. Pre-apocalyptic pre tourist. You sat through Quark's entire museum thing. Oh, he finally finished. That's weird. All right. You can use your help as a group of refugees topside when you transport to Colorado Springs. I see. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. 300 bucks? Waggle your rubber duck at him? Um, I don't know if I want to do that. Here's the money that transport the refugees are waiting near the parking garage. I don't know, maybe we should. Could you, could you please take that away? I don't like ducks. While he attempts to appear stoic, his stiff posture and wide eyes betray his burgeoning panic. No problem, friend. But duck, we don't see any ducks here. I, what? It's worse than I thought. Please, I need a moment. Closes his eyes and starts mumbling numbers. Eventually his eyes open again. You're really going to charge us to help some starving refugees? Did we ask our duck what he thinks of that? Here's the money. Um. Oh, Lord, please, no ducks. Fine, fine. How about a discount? All right, here's the money to transport the refugees. Right. Or is there another option? All right. You look a little short there. Sorry, I don't work for free. Damn it. You have anything Just my sell? services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe. But still lots of people need help getting around. Especially if you want to range further than that. All right, so we don't have the money yet. Anything you can tell us about Colorado? Thanks to the Patriarch, this stretch of land from Denver in the north to Steeltown in the south is pretty safe to travel. 
You'll find richer opportunities the further you venture out, but it'll also come with more risks. I could tell you more, but truth be told, the only way to know the land is to travel it. You look well equipped and competent. Just head out and see what you can learn. Go long. How much money do we have? Um, where does it cut our money? We have three dollars. Are we gonna sell some stuff? Hot, no hot, hot noodles. <laughs> I'll tell you when to quit. Mm -hmm. Talk to our boss if you're here to help. Guns sanctified A laser with pistol. Blood. Oh, I've blood always wanted one of these. Sanctified by guff hello uh, again, strangers. We, sell us. we need to make a hundred bucks. Certainly. All right, pulse gun we could sell. Ninety-one. Flamethrower. Stick. We'll sell this because this the dental pick is better than the than that. Okay, I don't really shit about this gun either. It's microwaves can scramble neural pathways, making targets confuse friends with foes. It may cause tumors. Yeah, we'll sell that. We don't need it. Um, these grenades don't do anything either, but. Smoke grenade. We need this stuff. Armor plus eight. Healing bonus and resistance to poison. All right, weapon, weapon or heavy weights, level five modding, rifle barrel. A uh, groove grip. All right, there we go. We got enough now. You're up, Marky. <laughs> oh, it's you again. Keep your ducks to yourselves this time, please. No problem. 100. I'll make sure they're part of my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send someone to collect them right now. I've talked with Mama Carter in downtown Colorado. All right, later. Go long. All right, where have we not gone? Um, the medical station. Ooh, we should get something hot to drink for the trip home. We'll come back on our way out. Dr. Cold Cuts can cure what ails ya. I suggest you speak to Flat. Oh, entertainment. Oh, yeah. guests, come. Speak with Flat. Oh, yeah, Flat is pretty big. Ah, children of the desert. What wonderful music they make. What do you want of Jacob the Magnificent? The splendid, wonderful. Ah. The corpulent man standing before you spits out a set of fake Dracula teeth and wipes his mouth. Let's never mind with the acts, shall we? Rangers, I am so sorry you had to witness that horrible exploding pig. Truth is, you do not find us at the best of times. What's with the Dracula act? 
Do not judge harshly, my friends. We hold on to our rituals of the past to try to remember our long lost strength. It may strike you as pathetic, but it gives us much needed comfort. How can you be so calm about exploding pigs? I am calm because I must be, friend. So is the burden of leadership. But you are right. This place is under assault. Something, someone, some horrible unknown thing is roaming the warrens below us. People have been disappearing. Not to mention the pigs loaded with explosives running amok. You are the Patriarch's Rangers, yes? If he trusts you, so can I. Nothing we've done has helped, so your arrival could not be more fortuitous. We need your help to combat this threat. Did we just get 666 bucks? Pretty cool. How long has this been going on? Um, it's been two weeks, uh, maybe three. Not long at all. At first, we thought it might have been the fanciful imaginings of the <laughs> chemically influenced. But then a pig appeared out of nowhere, outside the bazaar ran into a party of mashers, and exploded. Quite distressing. People have been disappearing ever since, and more pigs keep appearing. I need my mashers to keep the place safe. We need outside help. Your help. All right, we can check it out, assuming we're paid when we're done. <laughs> Spoken like a true citizen of the world. I suspect we shall be good friends, Rangers. Now, bring me news of what has been happening in the dark. If you come back, you shall be rewarded handsomely. When we were outside, we ran into raiders dressed as clowns. Could you be related to these attacks? Could that be related to these attacks? Raiders dressed as clowns? I see everything makes sense now. The makeup on the pigs. The horrible deaths. That explains who is behind these attacks. You know those clowns? Uh, in a manner of speaking, yes. Los Payasos are one of the wild gangs that escaped the Patriarch's control. Disorganized, uncontrollable, but dangerous. If there is something you care about, their joy is to watch that thing burn. If it is Los Payasos down there, we truly need your help. They would not hesitate to kill every living thing in my home in the most unspeakable ways. We won't be safe until every last payaso is dead. I would like to know more about you. You ask too much of me, my friends. What is a leader but a servant of the community? My story is the bizarre story. I am nothing but a receptacle of its wishes. We'd like to know how you ended up in charge of the bazaar. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> Once I was a humble lieutenant in the monster army. Then the patriarch came to the bazaar. He executed my predecessor and everyone else was too stupid to understand that this is the new world order. When he came to me, I did not hesitate. I swore myself to his service, 
marrow and muscle. And the patriarch, in his infinite grace, gave me command of the bazaar and all of its lives. Right, this probably isn't very sensitive to ask about you. Any thoughts on that nickname of yours? I appreciate the delicacy. Your compassion will be remembered. But no, I've no thoughts on the nickname they have given to me and no cause to think about it. After all, Flab describes me well, does it not? I suppose so. Good! Most would have lied to my face, told me that Flab the Inhaler was a blasphemy against my greatness. <laughs> but you, you have courage. I see a long friendship ahead of us. The truth is that I see this fat as proof of my station in life. Here, in these wastelands, how many have the opportunity to eat and flourish as I have? We have other questions. And I would be a bad host if I did not provide you with answers. Can you tell us about the bazaar? A decadent oasis steeped in culinary wonders. The bazaar is Colorado's gastronomic holy land. It is a carnival of wonders. It is paradise. But it was even more splendid once, a long time ago. What was it like a long time ago? Primal. A wild place. I was there when the monster army first arrived in the bazaar. We tore the farmers limb from limb, fed them to their pigs. A graceless epoch, but so visceral, so alive. But its savagery had no place under the patriarch's rule. He is a harsh man. But his edge is directed, guided, not like the chaos of old. Any main recommendations for things to do here in the bazaar? Masato will challenge your understanding of what food can be. The things that he can do with old bacon. Oh! Tell us a story from the good old days. They weren't the good old days. My family still tells stories about the monster army and the horrible things they did. Your young friend is right, of course. Those times were most regrettable. And yet, also the most delicious. So, a story? What's your favorite? My favorite story. Oh, I suppose I cannot blame you for being curious. Let's see. Yes, yes, I suppose I know the one. A wolf man once challenged me for the rule of the bazaar. He decided that I was weak, too soft for the role. So he challenged me to a duel, and I agreed. But. That night he died, shitting blood in his bed. They told me he screamed himself raw. Poor little puppy. He should have been more careful with his food. Well, that's interesting. The bloodiest. Oh, that one is easy. It was late and so cold that the air cut our lungs to ribbons. We'd heard rumors of a sanctuary, an unguarded place fat with meat and helpless farmers, no military force to speak of. So we came in the night, an army of monsters. We cut their throats in their sleep. 
<laughs> One hour, a hundred dead. You should have seen the blood. The night ran red. There was enough to fill a lake. It was beautiful. Savagery refined to an unctuous art. I'm in the most audacious. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. This story is not mine, but Adelan's, the beautiful madam of Chicks Flicks. She'd just arrived in the bazaar, hungry for a place in our kingdom. The space where her theater stands, it belonged to someone else. Adelan, wise in the nature of the world, offered the owner something he could not refuse. The orgy lasted for days. Men, women, animals, anything with a hole or an appendage that could either be sucked or slotted into a dripping orifice. The stains took weeks to clean. But Eidolon fucked her way to her heart's desire. Ah, oh, a legend, that woman. That's pretty audacious. With pleasure. We'll be back. The bazaar will be waiting. Be very yes. careful if you're heading down below. We are safe. Uh, stay away from that safe, lambs. It's safe here, lambs. As I've revisited everything here. Medical station. Oh, we haven't gone over there yet. I could kick some Should serious ass with these. I don't know about you, but I could use a drink. Maybe later. We Gary still got charge? a few things to pick up first. I hear they call him Flab the Inhaler. Who are these <laughs> movies in my theater? Yeah, Come. Come to Adelon. This woman's shocking purple hair and ridiculously voluptuous form make her stand out from the average, the average wastelander. She looks like she dropped in from a different time and place. Hey there, Eidolon. You look better every time I see you. How's show business? Ah, Marshal Kwan. As charming as ever. And you brought your most beautiful friends to Adelon's Chick Slicks Theater, I see. Aren't you all a sight for sore eyes, honey lips? You show movies here? Movies? Oh no, sweetheart. We deal in real flesh and blood shows. Ah, sugar plums. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, I'm so happy you walked into mine. You look like strapping, helpful hunks. Wouldn't you love to help out our little Adelon? What can we do to help? Oh, my heroes. So here's the rub. The Chicks Flicks theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. But we are... Running low on material. I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star, but we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. There's pay involved, right? In any currency you want, baby. Monetary and otherwise. Trust me. Where would we get fresh material? I know where to find some old movie reels. We've got good tech in here. So between some creative editing 
and a little bit of improvisation, I can produce our next masterpiece. We're in. Where do we find these movie reels? So it's easy as a slice of apple pie. The Monster Army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. Apparently their monster outfits were inspired by the movies they watched in there. The bunker has been abandoned for years and years, so it should be simple. And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good luck out there, sweeties. Let me ask you some questions. Anytime, gorgeous. Can you tell us about the bazaar? The bazaar? Hmm, well, you can get some good eats here, if you like pork. Flap's a bit of a softy, but he knows the value of money. That'll keep the gears greased, not to mention my performers. <laughs> Can we talk about your performers? They're fantastic. Gorgeous people. Talented. Double-jointed. Incredibly flexible. Incredibly. Trust me, I sampled each of them myself. What is this operation you run? This is Chick's Flicks, where nothing is sacred and everything's for adaptation. We take the fantasies of pre-war films by adding some missing venereal elements. The little extra sexy sauce leaves our customers extra satisfied. Talk yes, please. Else. Let's keep talking, gorgeous. Anytime, gorgeous. Come right, back out. again soon. Those asses are too beautiful to stay gone. There once was a man from Pawtucket, and for a buck and a half, you could fuck it. What's going on here? You're all under arrest. Don't make me pull out my bullet! There's a new sheriff of Sexyville in town, ladies. <laughs> yeah. Sarah Guns, Paul Ruby, Officer Six, Gilded Burt, Ella Apples. How about so I can get you to kill a shot shit. from my belly button? It's the Navy! Staring at us again. <laughs> yep. Don't yep. make eye contact. I got a oh, taser oh, pistol. Sanctified oh, always wanted blood. one of these. Blood sanctified by guns. Tell you what, once you've been deputized by me, you'll be spoiled for life. Yeah. Quick save it. Alright, so if we check the mission log, it should have what we need to do. Now we gotta go to the Warrens with the ramen noodles. Alright, so... Unwelcome dust. Have a talk with Mama Cotter in downtown Colorado. Alright, so we gotta do that. Um... Oh, she hired this. Search the smuggler's camp. Hmm. I don't know, Verte Chick. Uh, it, Army bunker. This one's the nightmare. Clear the Warrens with Payasos. I thought we did. Oh no, the Warrens now. Alright, here we go. We gotta go down there.
Oh, that's to leave it. Alright, where do we go? Oh, right over here. It's safe here, Lambs. Let's go check it out. Do you want to travel the Warrens? I think we do. Disco made me to it. Rumor has it that there are treasures buried in the Warrens that have not seen the light of day since before the deluge of fire. Okay. So there's more clowns down here. We got the... Wait, we stocked up on weapons. We got some submachine guns now, so... Should help with the lack of bullets. We do have bullets now for everybody. Alright, those spies will loot it. Nice. One med pack. Hey there. there you. Always good to see some friendly faces down here. Don't go near the cages though. The little piggies are friendly, but they'll bite if they get spooked. Oh, don't mind the smell. Nothing some fragrant flower beds wouldn't fix. Only thing is, we ain't got any of those down here in the Warrens. <laughs> holy shit, it smells in here. Not holy shit. Pig shit. <laughs> Stinks like the bowels of hell. Nothing much I can do about it, though. Need something to mask this fucking stink. Any luck finding something to mask the smell? Hell no. I'd consider searching the deeper Warrens, but it's not safe there. Can you tell us about the Warrens? Ah, uh, yes. Dug out by the Monster Army ages ago. The whole tunnel network used to belong to us. And from what I hear, we had some fun in there. <laughs> Nowadays, it's not safe. Something is roaming the deeper tunnels, so best to stay clear. You take care of the pigs here? Obviously, that's an obvious question. Yep. Pigs have been a part of the monster army in the bazaar as long as it's been around. Not a common good out here, you see. Highly valued. So we keep them well fed, happy, and guarded. What's that outfit you've got on? This? The traditional garb of the monster army tenders. Our job is to tend to our piggies, as well as do any maintenance needed to keep this place up. I will miss your scent. Yeah, but the pig feeds in the process. Being prepared, their diet seems to consist of aging rock groups, root crops, and other leftover vegetables. Hey now, stay away from the cages! But there's treasure in there. If you're the only one down here, might take care of that. Four's light. DJ hey, hey, hey. welcome to the house of DJ R.I.P. I take it you're here for the giveaway contest. What giveaway contest? Ha! Good one. Everyone knows the DJ R.I.P. show giveaway contest. Rules are the same as always. Just answer one simple question. Get the answer right, you get something awesome. Get it wrong, you still get something awesome. Just slightly less awesome. Ha! Awesome! So, you here for the contest or not? Yes. All right, all right, all right. We're live in three, two, all right, everybody. It's time for another round of DJ RIP's Believe It or Not. We have some new faces for you today. Hey, introduce yourselves to our audience. We're on the Whippetoots. What an awesome name. All right, get ready for our question. But first, a quick shout out to today's sponsor, the fabulous Chicks Flicks Theater, where you're guaranteed to orgasm twice. 
or your money back. Now, your question. In the year 1984, a giant marshmallow man attacked the city of New York. Believe it or not? Believe it. A true believer, folks. And you may remember seeing that giant marshmallow man in the movies. But thankfully, the giant marshmallow man was never real. Like, who can forget Ghostbusters, man? Still, we won't let a true believer go unrewarded. Right, listeners? Here's a little something for you. And for our listeners, this next one is dedicated to all you fellow believers out there. Who are you? DJ R.I.P. in the house. Uh, basement. I'm the Bazaar's resident jockeyer of discs and spinner of plates. Here to entertain the masses. Why are you down here? You used to have my booth up above, but they told me my sounds were bothering the fine folks doing their shopping. No skin off my teeth there. As long as I have my music, I'm fine wherever. Some creepy shit going on around here, though. Those weird sounds coming from the Warrens ain't helping me focus on my work. Hopefully Flab can figure it out. Can you tell us about the era? Yeah, it used to be a fine place to play some music and relax, but there's been too much weird shit lately, you know? Keep hearing laughter coming from deeper down the Warrens, people disappearing. I don't know, man. Bad stuff. Oh. All right. Maybe... You sneaky shit. Do I have to keep telling you? Don't touch the cages. Maybe not. It's over there. It's probably not even worth it. Who's this guy? Frank E. Steen. Whoa! Uh, shit, sorry. You startled me. I'm a little on edge. Was kept up all night by laughter. Just creepy, high pitched laughter coming from deep in the Warrens. Do you know what that's like? Do you? How'd that exploding pig go upstairs? I don't know. I was just trying to do my job. Something started squealing outside the door, and I opened it to see what it was. Then this pig ran past me and went straight up the stairs, oinking like a wolf man had his arm up his ass. I don't know. Man, I don't know. It's not like the job training covers exploding pigs. You feel me, man? I don't know, man. This security door is staying locked now. First people start disappearing, and now this shit <sighs> used to be safe down here. Well, Flab asked us to investigate the warrants. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, he mentioned he was sending down a team. I thought there'd be more of you, though. Anyway, you're clear to go through. Good luck. <laughs> Let's check it out. We got something right there. Kind of worms or something. Waste wormling. Got poison, but we can get back out. Body. All right, I think we have an antidote, but.
All right, Valkyrie, what can you do? Yes. Thunder, huh? Only one. I didn't feel it very much. Frozen. All right, Higgs, we're going to give you the shoddy. Pretty good damage. All right, Marshall, come on. Um, nice, dead. How to use you? See what that does. So the other one's got more range. Jeez, man, he's just awesome on that thing. Okay, nice. What's the poison gonna do? Um we remove my uh it's just kinda of oh my god. Do we have the antidote? We do. Yeah. Our Kwan's is gonna waste away unless. Dragon ornament, nice. Ooh. All right, Doc leveled up. Attributes, let's go. Yeah, better. Patch me up. Let's go with coordination. Skills. Time for one last stand. For weird science, why not? Then perks. Very 
Trick shot. Opportunist. Shotgun shell does bleeding. Nerd stuff. Robots you hack will not be attacked by other enemies. Hacked robots emit an electric burst every turn, dealing energy damage to enemies nearby. Ghost repair. Toast. Um, you're sticking a lot of silver into a lot of microwaves. You've figured out how to weaponize ex the excitement of matter and you've ruined all your silverware. Energy damage is increased by 0.5 bonus damage for every point of armor the target has. Wow. Builds toast. I mean, pleading. We don't have any more meds. Melted capacitor, junk, optical sensor. I don't want to miss anything. Truck. Dollars and old handkerchief. Even farther down. Turn on looking at those Higgs. Cover. Oh, 
Overwatch. Nice. You got a doing it. Oh man, they're sending bombs at us. Showtime! Now we gotta take out the pigs. Nothing like a little side action, am I right? Nice cat spin there, hawk. Wasn't good. All right. Um. Give him some cover. Oh, not this garbage him. We gotta talk to those pigs. Chuckles. I don't get this bug, man. It's annoying. Oh, he killed himself. God damn. Did a lot of damage, though. Um. Who's this? This is Oquan. Show that out. Um, uh, I'm dead. Thunder has got a busted leg or something. He's gonna freeze us. God damn it. Oh, that's everybody. Everyone's dead.
Maybe not. All right, not everyone's there. Two are down, though. So this is Ghost Rider. We've got... Eighteen two sixty six. Thank you for the medical attention. Thank you for the medical attention, you're so welcome. Yeah, what is up with that bug, man? Missed. Jesus. Wait, what? Got another attack? Oh, she does. And another miss. Lucia. Revive Thunder. Nice. Nice, took out a bunch. Alright, so Quan's gotta get healed up. Um put him flank over here. Alright, Lucia is almost dead. Can she heal up? All the way, nice. Oh, not enough AP. Alright, we'll need that rocket. Oh my god, why didn't I throw out a turret? Idiot. Shit on a stick, man. Oh, he's blowing his own dude away. Alright, we need a turret. Uh, oh shit, she's down, god. Stay focused. Keep it together.
kind of meant dark. Choice. We gotta get that turret. Damn it. Have to run out of here. All right, revive thunder. That'd be our grenade. Those you smoke. Lucia. Sorry, I'm good. Out the turret. We've done that right away. Um, who is this? You are dead. Um, Oh, 
Come over here. Alright, we got him at least. with a med dart. Go for the turret, go for the turret. Smile for the birdie, Mamon! <laughs> Shit, another pig. He's gonna do dilly for damage, man. Higgs. Where would we be without that guy? It's awesome. So, so you got the other guy. Boom, boom. Oh, you missed. Oof. Incoming. He just burned his own guy. Alright, so we're just gonna revive everybody now with an HSC. Uh.
That one's back. They're all injured though. All right, so why don't we stop the video? Cancel. All right, why don't we stop the video here? We'll we'll um, heal up Quan or we'll level up Quan and try to heal these other dudes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow, some of them are pretty in bad, pretty bad shape. We'll have to go visit the dock. Um, it's probably easier that way. But if you like the video, hit like. If not, dislike. Perfectly fine. Subscribe if you want some more. It's Dr. Quads and the doctor's out. Be safe.